Hey everybody, welcome back to Swag Vintage AZ. Today we're gonna go thrifting, we're gonna look at our booth, we're gonna look at a couple of hauls. This time I went to a Goodwill without any carts and it was super busy. I was out in good old Sun City, Arizona, which is a great place to thrift. This little tree I thought I might have some plans for, for our booth, but it looked a little shabby, like the needles weren't quite nice enough, but it was the perfect size. And I'll show you a table I bought on which I will put that tree, which is why I was in Sun City in the first place. Here we are in the art section, nice moo cow. Searching, not finding much in the art section. That was a pastel piece, a little too clumsy for me. And moving right along. These are a lot of store-bought kind of generic pieces. This frame I thought might have potential, but no, again, just another commercial print kind of a thing. Into the fake flowers. I have found a lot of great vases in the fake flower section. And here I thought I might have found another one. It looks like a nice piece made in Mexico, hand-painted. However, there was a massive chips that had been repaired, so I left that one behind. Here I am in the eat, pray, love section. Also the wood section, which is one of my favorite places to look. I like these vintage old lacquered pictures on wood. I've sold several of those. And then these looked great. Here's one with a kachina on it. Definitely vintage and Southwest. Reasonable price, so I was thinking about it. And then I spied its mate right there. I had a suspicion that it probably came in a pair. However, I ended up passing on this one because it had a very large chip in the paper. Maybe I made a mistake, but oh well, just have to live with it, right? So here I am in little bric-a-brac knickknacks, found a, another brass candle stick holder to add to my collection. I'm getting close to having 10. I'm just looking for one more. This piece there's a lot of popular pieces with that sort of shell mosaic right now, but that one seemed a little too contemporary. Here we are. Oh, and speaking of those baskets, the carts rather, whenever there's not a cart, I usually just grab a basket that has a handle and I use that for shopping while I'm out thrifting. These often come in brass, these two birds, and a lot of people say that they're quails, but they don't have top knots, so I think they're like some other bird I don't pretend to know and they were cute but they had enough chips in them and they were priced just a little high for two ceramic pieces so I left them I left this one behind too I just didn't know what to make of it really and this bird was cute but contemporary nice and heavy however moving along into this shelf and I found this little lion on the bottom is a stamp made in Uruguay or Paraguay couldn't quite see it had the most interesting texture. I thought it was maybe like piped plastic. And then my husband said he thought it was just dyed rice. But what I loved about it was this face. So that was a keeper for me. That's a cute animal, I can't resist. And speaking of cute animals, here is a leopard bookend. It was very heavy with the most incredible goofy grin. I love this little thing so much. So that was a definite yes moving along these are my favorite favorite shelves because you just never know what you're going to get and it's so random found these two kitties one was broken which made me very sad but the other one was in great shape so upon inspection i decided to say yes to that but then guess what i missed a beautiful marble stone book and of stacked books very desirable i completely passed it by this day I was in a hurry and that's what you get. So I'm sad, but oh well. Oh, another thing I passed by was this interesting ceramic green piece. Could have been an ashtray or something. I wish I had picked it up and looked at it, but I didn't. Instead, I saw this dog, this cute spotted hand carved wooden dog, very low price. Any animals I love, they, go, they really do sell well in our booth. And he was just too cute to pass up. So here's my basket so far. And I'm looking along this shelf for more goodies. This was just a container, a little banged up, so I left it. Of course, I'm always attracted to 
things that are made of wood or brown. And here's yet another thing I missed. This container looked so beautiful when I looked back at this footage and I passed by it several times, you may have seen it, but I was too busy looking at this broken duck to notice it, so, oh well. I liked this duck for the record, but he had a broken foot, so he had to stay behind. And then this resin piece lid caught my eye, but it was just a lid to something. These were wonderful, however, huge break in the trunk that had been repaired, so too bad. It's really hard to find elephants where their tusks are complete, so that's what attract, attracted me to it in the first place. My favorite section, the lamps and they were jam-packed this beauty of course caught my eye but at 25 dollars price tag that's just not enough of a margin for me everything i need to be able to potentially sell oh and i missed a ufo lamp back there anyway what caught my eye was this really great ceramic pineapple lamp and it's so cute, so well-priced, and then, bam, I found its pair. So it's matching pair. And of course, whenever you can find a pair of lamps, that's like the jackpot. And these are so small, I think I can ship them. So I will be listing these online. Okay, so this was my teeny tiny, I'm in a rush thrift store haul that day that all fit in one basket. And this is the table that I had gone to Sun City for in the first place. It was on offer up. I paid $30 for it. This is going to be part of our staging in the booth. We're going to put a nice little Christmas tree right there. And we're going to put gifts, quote unquote, on the tiers below. And then here are items that I picked up from other thrift stores that when I wasn't filming. So I got these two really cute rattan trivets that I've sold before in the booth. This piece I love, it's pressed flowers, a hanging kind of a sun catcher piece that would be beautiful in front of a window, perfect for fall. I need to oil the frame up and I'm debating whether or not to put it in the booth or online, I'm unsure, but I think I could get a pretty good price for that one. This of course, I mean, this is gonna take a really special buyer, someone who loves this brutalist 70s. I gotta tighten the bolt in the back but this candelabra is so funky. I love it so much. And then this adorable brass and stained glass owl trivet. All the glass is in really nice shape. Missing its feet a little bit, but that's an easy um, adjustment to make. And then this I had a while ago. I didn't thrift it. I got it from someone who was offloading their collection on offer up. Then a couple of candlesticks, this pewter cat, this turned wood vase, I love anything wood. This one's really pretty and simple, and I do believe it's on its way to our booth. This was a Czechoslovakian crystal dish that, again, I put in the booth. A lot of these smalls that I don't think I'm going to get more than $18 for online, they end up at the booth for maybe $7 to $12. So that's kind of my pricing structure right now. Those very cool urchin style candlesticks I picked up a while ago, and then this beautiful brass wall hanging. Again, this was from that collection I bought. It's very old. I think it's an antique, has this cast metal ornate frame. And as you can see, those attachments in the back look very old. That's a really nice piece. I'm a little frightened to put it online just because the shipping is gonna be double boxed and tricky and then i found this oval mirror tray framed and this okay so i found this huge pile of vintage books all signed by this wonderful gentleman named victor they all had the same signature on the inside cover and as much as i wanted to buy all of them i still have not recovered from the first or our second video when I totally blew our budget and put myself $100 in debt. <laughs> I'm currently only $60 in debt with myself. However, I'm trying to be good. So I just picked up a few that I thought would be good for staging. They were also pretty. They all had their dust covers. And it was, I think, kind of an emotional moment because they were all from the same person. And then I picked up this fabulous 1980s 
floral still life. I love the pink. It is so wonderfully 80s and it has the date 1988. So that will be in our booth as well because I always sell art through the booth, typically the, the larger sizes. So that was my haul. And here are just a couple items I staged. This is the oval mirror and it's available on Etsy. And I threw some of my vintage jewelry on it. If you've watched my other videos, you've seen this jewelry. I use it in my staging all the time because it's so perfect. And I set the turned wood vase and that pressed flower piece in the background. And here we have that incredible dark wood candelabra. It is so sickly 70s. I just can't. I mean, someone please buy this. I have it listed online currently, and I think it's just such a special piece. And here we are. As promised, I said I would share some footage of our booth. We went through a massive overhaul. This is the big messy table that we created, throwing all of our items off of the shelves, installing new shelves. Uh, we sold some furniture, so we had a lot of blank spots to fill. And so we just made a mess of things for about half a day. And here it is cleared out. That is my partner working hard. And this is us rushing around and just placing items and obsessing a little bit about where everything goes and really getting in the weeds. It took us about four hours to rearrange everything. We added a shelving unit and moved a shelving unit along that green wall that you see. Our plans are to fill it with my favorite thing in the whole wide world, lamps and lamps and lamps. And here is our booth at Brass Armadillo in Phoenix. Once again, we are the location near Crossroads I-17 and Cactus Road. Just wanted to give you a slow down tour of all the items we have. Nice collection of studio pottery and vintage mugs, as well as some vintage purses. You can always count on us for a lot of ashtrays. This one's my favorite right now with the collie and these beautiful brass and glass tables, which just sold after we took this video and I was thrilled. You can find some smaller furniture items there, console tables, coffee tables, as side tables as we find them. And here we just have a lovely shelf. You have been with me for some of these pieces. I'm sure you recognize that massive cougar up there. And you can see we really, really love to stock our place with a lot of Fiesta wear. My booth partner is the best at finding dishware, Fiesta wear. He is a dishware collector and so the dishware you find in our booth is very special and often difficult to find, and his prices are low. So here we are with more kitchenware, and just wanna remind all of you that we are called Swag Vintage AZ, all one word. You can find us on Etsy, you can find us on Instagram, and you can find our booth here, as I mentioned, in Phoenix, Arizona at the Brass Armadillo on I-17 and Cactus Road. And I really just want to say thanks for watching my video. I've only just started and I really appreciate every single person who is with me on these thrifting videos and taking a look at our booth, etc. So I appreciate you. Bye.